Nearly seven years after Hurricane Ike ripped through southeast Texas, the region is still recovering. It was horrible. It was horrible. Including Concord homes in the north end of Beaumont. We were really looking forward to having them rebuilt and being able to come back home. A home that can hold 100 public housing families, no longer getting $12.5 million in aid through hurricane recovery funds. Uh, we were pulling for Bowman Housing Authority, but it came to a point where in the final months of this contract, uh, we had to have an eligible project or risk losing the money. And we, nobody wants that. The Regional Planning Commission director says with no eligible project, the board was forced to reallocate from public housing to general housing before a December 2015 deadline. We're not trying to be obstinate. We presented four very viable options. We compromised as much as we could, but quite honestly, I'm very proud of our board. I'm very proud of our agency taking the position that no, our word is our bond and even $12.5 million dollars is not worth going back on a promise. The promise, according to the Housing Authority Director, to keep Concord homes, part of a revitalization effort by a number of groups in the North End. Robert Reyna says the agency submitted four plans, two at the same site and two in the West End of Beaumont, all rejected by the state and advocacy groups. A Texas General Land Office spokesman says the Beaumont Housing Authority plans didn't follow federal guidelines. Raina says three of the four plans could have met federal guidelines, but points to opposition from advocacy groups. Easily what the advocates were asking us to do was to not only demolish it, but not rebuild it and make the families that live there move to a place unfamiliar to them. It would impact the schools, it would impact the churches, it would impact the neighborhood, and it would negatively affect this community. A spokeswoman for the Austin-based advocacy group Texas Appleseed tells KFDM News. Quote, we are so deeply disappointed that the Beaumont Housing Authority, after being told repeatedly for over two years by the federal government, by the state government, that their plans did not comply with federal law, turned down $12.5 million rather than comply with federal fair housing law. That's money that would have served the needs of the most vulnerable families in Beaumont. This is really a tragedy. Families in Beaumont living here, waiting for years to see improvements.